Step one, watch my tutorial and how we set up authentication with Photon and Playfab. Step two, download any model from the asset store. I'm gonna choose this adorable mummy. Step three, purchase the APR player controller from the asset store. It's a little bit of a fee, but I think it is well worth it to get some nice quirky little movement inside of our game and it saves us some time in the long run. Open up the APR player setting injector and inject all the settings into your project. Create a cube that will act as our ground and give it the layer ground and the tag ground. Create a small cube, give it a rigid body and give it a tag of can be grabbed. This will allow our player to grab it and throw it however we like. Add the player model of your choosing. Drag and drop into the scene the APR player template located in the APR player templates folder. There are multiple to choose from. I've chosen the short prefab. Now make sure you align the arms and legs of your APR player template with the model of your choosing. This will be required for when we bind the APR player to our model. Uh, if this is incorrectly aligned, it will break your model. Now open up the APR player binding window and drag and drop all of your armature components required to make this work. Now let's add the camera controller onto our main camera and just fill out all of those variables to your liking. If you've done everything correctly up until this point, you should now have a nice funky looking character walking around your scene that is able to grab and throw that cube that we placed there. Hey guys, Lawrence from Express Unity here. Now, I know that it is a kind of a different video format this time around, um, and I am wanting to kind of change my format a bit. I kind of find my current format a little bit stale, and while it does have a lot of good information, I feel like I could be sharing that with you guys better. So this is my attempt to make my videos a lot smaller while trying to keep as much information as possible inside of them. So I know this tutorial series will be um, a little bit of a weird one because they usually go around doing FPS stuff, but I figured, well, Fall Guys is kind of the popular multiplayer game going on right now, so why not just make a clone of it? Um, so everything I teach in this video series should still apply to your FPS videos and whatnot, and I know there is a purchase plugin within this, which is the APR player. But again, everything in the video should still apply to your FPS, your RTS, puzzle games, anything like that. It should still work fine uh, when it comes to like the lobby systems and matchmaking, all of that. Um, so again, thank you for watching the video. Give it a like if you did like it. Subscribe if you want to see more. We do have a Discord server that I'll link down below. Uh, so if you need any help with anything, just jump in there and I'll be more than happy to give you a hand. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video.